And now the forecast with Brian Miskimmons. And good Saturday evening to you. A lot of us woke up to drizzle out the door this, this morning. I don't think we're going to see necessarily drizzle tomorrow morning. In fact, it should be mainly dry. As we get into the later morning, I'd say about 11 to right about 2 o'clock time, we're going to see some showers push up from the south. Some of them could be rather intense, and we could even see a thunderstorm. I think that risk is rather slight, but I want to at least let you know that it could potentially happen sometime in the afternoon as we get some afternoon heating and destabilizing of the atmosphere, topping out near 76 degrees. Today, we topped out near 80 degrees. In fact, perfect 80 degrees right on the money for Forest Grove at Joseph Gale, Milwaukee at Riverside Elementary School, SIO coming in at 80 degrees, as well as Colonel Wright Elementary School in the Dallas. Our airport readings, about 78 here in Portland, 79 down the valley in Salem, 78 also for Eugene, 86 for Medford and east of the Cascades. Warm spot there, Baker City coming in at 89, and Cay Falls, one of the cooler spots at 78 degrees. In, in the 60s out along the coast. And at this 11 o'clock hour, 67 still downtown, 65 for Gresham, 62 for Beaverton and Hillsborough. Out in the 50s out along the coast and 50s and 60s, except for a 71 there at the Dalles east of the Cascades. We do have a red flag warning in effect, goes in effect tomorrow due to these uh, showers and storms that are going to fire off. And I'll show you why I'm concerned about this. Earlier today, we had some showers and storms fire off. Those have since dissipated, although it looks like just in the past few minutes, we're starting to see some other showers reinvigorate and they could develop into thunderstorms. All courtesy of this area of low pressure off the California coast. And this is slowly working its way north and east as it does. So I timed it out. It looks like it's going to be here between about 10 and 1 o'clock tomorrow. That band of moisture will make it to the northern Willamette Valley. Behind that, we have another trough of low pressure. And we're going to be in a battle zone from about Monday through about Thursday between this trough of low pressure and a big ridge of high pressure that's going to be centered over much of the nation. And as because of that, you'll see on raincast, it illustrates it quite nicely. The clouds kind of move and back and forth. In fact, let's take a look at this. Time this out tomorrow. Here comes that band of moisture I just showed you on the satellite. And pause this at noon. There it is. It's right on our doorstep. I'm not ruling out some thunderstorms, especially when you see some of those red echoes on our forecast model. That usually indicates there could be some thunder embedded with those heavier showers. As we go later into the afternoon, the showers should taper off and just leave us, leave us with scattered showers into the afternoon. And then as we go into Monday, just some mountain showers developing. Watch what happens Tuesday. I noticed I said that area of low pressure, it's going to be kind Kind of back and forth, and you can see the clouds kind of get close, and then they back off the coast later in the day. So let's break down your forecast out along the coast on your Sunday. Some showers developing, especially during the midday for the I-5 corridor. Showers increasing, a slight risk of a thunderstorm in the afternoon. East of the Cascades, showers and storms increasing in the afternoon hours, highs in the 70s and 80s. For the Columbia River Gorge, storms and showers increasing in the afternoon. Same goes for the Cascades, the freezing level there at 10,000 feet. And in the Portland metropolitan area, generally talking about afternoon highs in the mid to upper 70s, a slight risk of some thunderstorms. And your seven day forecast, topping out near 79 on Monday with mountain showers and mountain storms. High clouds on Tuesday. We'll have to watch that system. If it gets any closer to us, we'll have to throw some showers back in the forecast. And then towards the end of the week, we're going to be a little bit closer to that area of low pressure core, so it means the shower risk goes up. But then it looks like Saturday at this point could be rather wet, or at least the risk of it, before we dry out towards Labor Day. So. Some more of the, some more of the clouds. Exactly. Right? Okay, Brian, Cooling thanks, us off. Thanks very much. Yeah.